All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream this evening. And do we have something special in store for you? Uh, might as well let this music keep playing. Nima, you keep requesting music. This is the most exciting stream of the season I've done this far. Uh, very happy to have all of you here with us. Um, I'm joined by the legendary Cubs announcer, Harry Carey. And Harry, how are you doing? Hey, Murda. How's it going, man? <laughs> Go Cubs! Go Cubs! I'm doing oh, well. Be a good we got Rizzo, we got Brian. <laughs> Big things for the Cubbies this year. <laughs> I'm doing well. Not only do we have Harry Carey here this evening, but we also have these wings right here you see on your screen right now. I will be eating these in order from least spicy to very insanely friggin spicy. There's 10 wings and hopefully we get through all of them before the match is over. Uh, so far, I think these teams are ready to go. Um, let's throw an R here in the chat, Bobo. You're, you're, you're leading the, uh, the way. But uh, holy smokes. Ladies and gents, this is going to be a smoking hot cast this evening. We have Team Freelo, first place in Division A West, up against the last place competitors of the evening, Dunning-Kruger Knights. And here we go into the first draft. And it is going to be Tomb of the Spider Queen. Now let me go over what happened during the coin toss today. It was Team Freelo winning. They chose Tails and banned away Sky Temple. Dunning Kruger Knights then banned away Dragon Shire. Here we are, first map of the night. Gonna be Tomb of the Spider Queen. And we're gonna round it out, hopefully without too much spice in my mouth, over on Braxis Holdout. So, uh, Harry, uh, I know you're there with me right now. Have you ever played this game before, first off? No. In fact, I gotta tell you, I don't know where I'm at right now. <laughs> <laughs> It was just me, Dave Kingman, had, had a hot night at South Whaley Ave, put back a couple of ice cold <laughs> Miller lights, and I woke up here. <laughs> What's the game? Who's playing? Cubs Cubs? <laughs> Cardinals in town? <laughs> All right, so Medivh was the first fan, followed by my Ev, and uh, okay, yeah, Medivh, you don't see banned as much, but my Ev, yeah. Uh, Medivh is like one of those heroes. It's so scary that if it's uh, if it's if there's a player on the other team that can play the Medivh and you know they can do it. In the case of Dunning Kruger Knights, they might be thinking that Team Freelo has this player. I'm I'm guessing that they did a little bit of research on it and they want to ban that Medivh away. Mayev's also a ban, just top meta pick. No one wants to play against that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> those of you in chat, uh. Looking to complete the Regen Invitational Bit Goal. This is my last cast of the regular season. You'll hopefully be catching me in the playoffs, but throw some bits in chat tonight. Uh, shout out to Rec. I saw your resub come through there. Um, and uh, Papa Bless to all of you. And I think it's time to christen this evening with the first wing. If you want to know what the wings are, exclamation point sauces in chat i'm gonna go ahead and throw it out for you now but as people come make sure they know there's the sauce lineup and right now we are starting out with the sriracha wing see it there nice little line of sriracha mmm delicious not too spicy kind of mild like the draft so far gold dam fair with johanna and genji bits coming through it's bobo with the 89 piece Mmm. Yeah, you're pretty good. I did baked wings tonight. I didn't want to pull out a fryer, so. Um. We'll call that one done. Sriracha. Oh, I dropped a little bit in my lap. It'll be a messy stream tonight, guys. So, Goldam picked. Then we got Johanna and Genji for Team Freelo. I should probably lower that chat there. How dare I? What other picks are you thinking? Uh, Harry Carey, uh, do you like seeing uh, the home run style hitters or kind of you're trying to bat for an on-base percentage? What's your sort of uh, prototypical baseball player? Oh, yeah. That's my favorite uh -huh. type of player, <laughs> player too. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ar Ariel to pair with the Thrown Golden Dan. <laughs> Ariel to pair with the Golden and Tyrael the Double Angels from Diablo cast. Maybe we'll try to get Harry back in a few minutes. <laughs> I thought about that question so hard, you just blew me up, dude. <laughs> I thought about how to answer that question so hard. <laughs> Well, uh, we'll summon the ghost of Harry Carey a little while. What's happening, everybody? Who's ready for an adventure? <laughs> Even though the ring just saved me. Show Gaul banned away. They see the Ariel has been picked up. Uh, pairing with the Gold'am, but they don't want to play against the Cho'Gal. More bits coming through this time. It's Gravesville. He says, what's hotter, these wings or Richard Gear? And, uh, hmm. Uh, I'd probably say I mean... that wing right there, the 10th one. I'm pointing to it. Can you see my finger? That one. Yeah, that has a Carolina Reaper sauce all over it, and uh, it's actually, the last two are both Carolina Reaper sauces, but the last one is a bit spicier. Eventually, they will surpass Richard Gere. Eventually, the wings will be so hot, they'll, they'll go way past, <laughs> like, an officer and a gentleman Richard Gere, or pretty woman Richard Gere at that. But right now, we're in early, early, or excuse me, late career, I guess you would say, Richard Gere. Which is not so I... So Bobo, I'll keep you in charge of trying to pace me throughout the evening. Um, no, when up. when it's appropriate to eat them, I don't want to have all ten of them all right. done like right away. First, no, no, hold on, we can do this. Ready? First blood, for sure. Okay, first blood. The next one. Uh, first objective. First objective. The third one. Ooh, first key. Oh no, wait. We want to make you eat more. First, first, first fort. Oh, definitely first fort. Definitely. And then and then first keep is the last one. Uh, no. And then we well, well, first boss. First boss has got to be in there too. What if there's no boss? Run tomb. <clears throat> okay, but what if they don't get the boss on tomb? Then I'll eat one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll okay, we'll figure it out. Because I want to save but at least five. Have <clears throat> yeah, we'll do the other five for the it's second game. So I'll do the first five. That you're like committed. Because you're, I mean, you're starting to game one, dog. This, uh, you're not going to be like a game two. You're not going to be like chipper and spry. I'm fully committed. Sriracha's done. All it in, was baby. tasty and delicious. Also delicious is Junkrat, uh, and if you're not going to do a Harry Carry for me, you got to give me at least one Junkrat right now. Uh, dude, stop. Stop. Maybe Harry will come back. You just put me on guard so hard. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. It was like you, such a specific question that like I could not process the answer in Harry Carry talk. Sonya and Junkrat, the picks, and Bobo and I are huge fans of this hero, and I think we especially love him on this map, the wave clear, the rotations. Um, and really kill potential with his rip tire. Um, Junk very... What, he's, he's S-tier assassin, dude. It's Junkrat. Um, the, the range is insane right now. He's super survivable. Uh, people have gotten, uh, just really good as a, as a player base at using his, uh, his abilities defensively. And, like, yeah, I mean, you could just, I get, you'll see it, like, whenever you see a Junkrat just lay a mine out there and just hang out for, like, ten seconds, you know he's just playing you for the second one. You know yeah. the traps in the area. You know the traps in the area too. He's got a just really. He's got good defensive tools right now as well. Absolutely, Thrall and Blaze, the final two picks for the Dunning Kruger Knights, and rounding out the draft for Team Freelo is going to be Malfurion. Uh, um, okay, title so in, title in chat, last big Malf in 2018. I know what, <laughs> where 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 are we going? Uh, we had an Oriole in the first rotation and a Malfurion last pick. And uh, I casted last night. It was Ariel in both of the games. The teams actually switched it back and forth. And the winner of both the games was the team that had the Ariel on it. Oh, is this going to be Ariel in the playoffs? Oh. I, I think Ariel is, if you haven't been playing her, at least run her in some of your scrims. Oh. See if it's going to ah. work for your team. Like, I think she's viable, dude. I do. I'm not... No, no. I, 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 I The... Um... <clears throat> There's a, a group of support players that are objectively good with Oriel. Uh, I remember last season in <coughs> my division, uh, the, te the team excuse me, I think it was actually Onslaught. They just ran the show in the beginning of the season, just running old school Oriel comps. Like some people, again, are just really good with the hero. So if she gets a buff here or there, she becomes competitively viable. So uh, show me the team on the left. I can't see it because I am locked on your observer. I want to introduce these guys. They are Team Freelo. We have Skigum going to play the Genji Blackout on Junkrat. Hollis is going to be playing the Johanna Richard Greer on the Malfurion and uh, Tithel. 
Why? I couldn't see the Tithel. Tithel is going to play the Sony today. Tithel? Tithel. You want to introduce Tithel. the other guys? <laughs> the Dunning Kruger right. Knights in red. For DK Gang. Ralph Stu is going to be playing the Tyrael. Alias will be on the Blade. So Thoru on the Orion. Easy to Gookie Booty will be playing the Thrall and Schweik on the Gul'dan. Schweik on the Gul'dan. You'll love to see it. Uh, I'm on camera today. Uh, during the stream, special cast. You can see the wings while they're going. You see them on the screen. They're not going anywhere. No funny business here. Um, but here we go. It is game number one. Team Freelo, Dunning Kruger Knights, DKK as we're going to call them this evening. And already I think uh, the wave clear, having the gold Dan, is going to really help out DKK a lot in this one because of how fast they can move between these lanes. Bottom lane is going to be led by that Sonya up against the Blaze. I think she's going to have a really easy job there. But when you have a Genji on your team for Team Freelo, your wave player is going to suffer, and they're going to have to depend on Johanna making up for that loss of siege damage. Yeah, we're just seeing teams just, again, trading out. It's Johanna versus Gul'dan. Uh, it's all about who gets rid of the minions first. I get, I'm really interested. I'm trying to keep an eye on the Gul'dan Oriole combo right now. Especially once you get sort of like in that 7 to 10 when you start to see Oriole kill spike. I'm trying to get ready for a first blood because I'm pretty hungry to get this next wing down. And we see a gank coming down on this bottom. Sonya could be in trouble here. Tithel, is this the first winger of the game at least? Wing number two? Is it going to be a kill? They do get it. And ladies and gentlemen, cheers to you. Here is wing number two. Uh, I'll show it on screen there. This one is called Cracker Peas. It is a sauce that is from the Bahamas. My girlfriend brought back on a trip she went uh, last year. So uh, here's to you, Twitch chat. Can't confirm he did to Rihanna. That kind of guy. <laughs> mm. This one's really tasty. I like this one. Gear. Been effective with his roots, even though they've been a little raw. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, wing number two is down, ladies and gents. And how do we deal? Um, you know, we're still in the mild range. I think that one it's kind of just like a red pepper. Um, so nothing extreme. Next we're gonna start moving into more of the habanero. Um But yeah, for me this is this is I'll, I'll put this on like anything pizza french fries like uh like anything i was hoping to see repeated offense with hotaru's Oreo, but instead opting for a q build oh. around sacred speed. uh and it looks like gold dan is still holding his level four talent currently um kind of odd there tactical calculated Tactical and calculated. I'm actually noticing with this new update today that the team levels at the top are a smaller font, at least when I'm displaying in 4K. So if you're noticing that on your screen, that's what it is. Something with the new update that came out today. Uh, bot lane, Blaze holding 9 gems, Sonya holding on to 11. Um, 25 already turned in for... Team Freelo and getting this Sonya up there is going to be very necessary because they have enough now currently to get this turn in. They've been winning the at least the gem battle so far, uh, doing a great job of collecting. Uh, uh, Dunning Kruger only holding 42 gems. Skigum. Skigum. Unbelievable that he got caught out there as a Genji. Uh, no one take the tower shot for him. And it was, oh. you know, the right amount. He Hell went in. In big trouble here with Shwai. He doesn't have the great life anymore. And he backs off. I think I think this is the moment uh, for Team Freelo. Get that turn in. Feed me another wing. Let's make it happen. 15 more gems. Sonya's holding him on bot, but it looks like Thrall and Blaze are down there keeping her back in her lane for a minute. I think DKK has struggled to figure out how to get their gems off their person. Ooh, 20 turned in there by Tyrael. And... They're looking to kill this Sonya, I think, because uh, she's she holding... She all the gems. She does have all of them. Here comes the collapse. Keep an eye on Skigum here. You know we want vengeance for that last death. And he might find this blaze. Alieska falling very that low, and the spear yeah. from Sonya gonna secure that kill. Two to one now in favor of Team Freelo. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a turn-in, and that means wing number three is ready to go. 
This one is Secret Aardvark Habanero Hot Sauce and Ragnar Ragnarok. I see you in chat. There will be no milk this evening. Wing number three. Here we go. Level seven coming online for both teams. Murda takes yet another boat. Hmm. Oh, well, they did delicious. take a level four. Consume soul. Hmm. Consume soul. Let me uh, show the challenge. I'll put that on the screen. There you go. Yeah. Wow. No. Oh. That's a nifty little combo. Blackout with a concussion mine, knocking Schweik on his Gul'dan into the Web Weaver wave. Up to his feet here. Lataro doesn't quite know where to retreat at. Murda, how are you feeling, dude? Uh, yeah, that one's so delicious. It's made by a company, uh, I think near the Denver area in Colorado. Uh, just picked that one up. Uh, it was actually featured on Hot Ones. Oh, and what a great concussion mine. Does he have Eldrunes? He does. Ralph Stu getting away from that one. Gets a little heal from Mario as well. Should have a shield as well here to deter Skigum on that Genjo. And Bobo, that's first four to the game, so I have to eat wing number four already. Good. Um, this next one, and I need to pull up my list here. So, oh, Shiza, I just moved the camera. That means I'm not locked on you anymore, am I? No. Uh, rip. Okay, so I'll, I'll start controlling the camera. Um, but, uh, so this one's called... This one's called Belizean Heat. Oh, the roots barely, barely missing jet propulsion right through it. Unbelievable. Team Freelo likes to lead off with that root. It's a really good, if you, if they keep hitting those roots, those sort of raw roots on Malfurion, you could wind up comboing that with a condemn into a blessed shield, into a whole lot of pain for whoever is on the receiving end. Mr. Johanna's in trouble too. Looks like Hollis will get away though, but. Okay. He's got shields and things. Okay, we're starting to hit where the the heat is starting to at least make it to the tongue, right? Um, this one's called Belizean Heat I just ate. It's uh, from Belize. I was there in a cruise earlier this year. Um, habanero base. Oh, Typhoon. Takes the root. Oh, wow. Oh, good yeah, the, it, it was the leaf that finished Third. it off. Yeah, he's getting that Skigum. Great job there on the Genji. Uh, using some ultimates, they Dragon played the leap. Uh, they got the kills though. It's a triple kill, and now four to two for Team Freelo and it's Genji leading the way with three of them so far. Skigum, uh, your early game MVP to this point. But here come Red Web Weavers as Dunning Kruger Knights try to make their way back into this game number one here on Team Spider Queen. DKK ran into a bit of just a problem there in that. The target that they were trying to focus down was Sonya. No jet propulsion from Blade. They had no way to stop the spin. Sonya chunks it down quite a few years, and Genji cleans it up. So we have an earthquake. We have a bunker. We have a sanctification. We have an Aegis. Uh, a lot of defensive tools here for Dunning Kruger Knights. But what's their offensive tool? Great concussion mine again. The D shield has to come out, or, or the, the sanctification rather. And they're gonna find this Johanna. She is cornered, body blocked in, and Hollis is down. That's a double kill as Genji falls at the exact same moment. Make it three. Malfurion is down too. Is Typhill next? Concussion mine over the wall. These guys are in trouble. Blaze is going to scoot away, though. Um, you got to give it up. Blackout's playing out of his mind with these concussion mines. There's the Crystal Aegis. And they might get some damage here on Typhoon. No, he's going to get away. Okay, that fight was crazy impressive because Hataru just didn't cast Crystal Aegis ever. Like, there's so much overlap between that and Sanctification and potentially Bunker and, and even Horrified, in the, you know, in the same sense. But, uh... It was a fantastic mm -hmm. job of just holding that until the very last moment. Yeah, a really good job of trying not to overlap abilities, whether it was by chance or 100% calculated. Um, the team did a great job there of making sure that they're not overlapping their Sanctification, Bunker, Crystal Aegis, um, etc. So, great job there. Dunkruger Knights taking the lead now and kills 5-4. to four, And it is Tyrael and Thrall with two apiece as they take their Bruiser Camp on the right side of the map. On the left side of the map, we do see... Team Freelo capturing theirs around the same moment. Hmm. Now it looks like Freelo is trying to make their moves. They want to get their gems in. Sonya's holding on to 47. Uh, now it's 50 gems on Sonya. She's got to find a way to get in here. And it looks like 
And DKK is giving him space. The 13 advantage as well. DKK doesn't want this. They still the need needed about a quarter of a level during yeah. the turn. I think you're right. They're in a tough spot. They're going to lose their last remaining sword. They're probably going to lose two walls. Could be, could be some walls here. It's definitely this mid fort. Uh, obviously, top and bot fort's already down. Bless shield forward. There's the leap right on top of Shriek. The crystal E just gonna save him. The sanctification's down as well. But here comes the dragon blade. Skinkum looking for some blood. He's gonna find it. One and now two. Ariel and Golden are both down. Alieska might be the next to fall, um, but will be able to scoop behind the wall to join the rest of her team. At least what's left of it. And here comes the web weaver. They're looking at this mid keep wall and once a keep goes down and wow the root the web blast and the sh swift strike in by genji picks up a kill on blaze and bobo it's looking like this could be yet another wing for me here oh yeah oh yeah take a take a bite all right so i don't think this is game and it looks like okay it looks like he's pretty little three uh this, uh, it looks like they're backing up, but this next wing is a honey bonnet wing. It is honey and scotch bonnet peppers made by the Pucker Butt Company here in South Carolina. You're going to see a few sauces featured by this company in game number two when we get to the really spicy stuff. This is the guy who first bred the Carolina Reaper pepper here in my home state of South Carolina. Um, so I'll keep the camera up here as I chow down and can't move it. But here we go. Wing number five. Spiders. Destroy them. Deliver the gems of power to my orator. PKK checking. Boss pit. Team Freelo with another opportunity here to force the fight. Keep an eye on again the roots and then the Joanna combo. Hollis using Blessed Shield. There comes a Condemn. It's going to hit at least three. And Holy Ground. Oh, Spencer with an immediate spear on top of that. Four or five comes out. The same time. We've got a Sanctification blocking out all of that precious jump red damage. And it looks like DKK is going to wrap this up. They got to get start the first kill off. There's Chuck right down, get a little trade value there. The root now Ooh, landing, and that's gonna be a kill. Uh, you gotta give a little credit to a Junkrat trade there, doing the damage they needed on the Thrall to get it that low, and Hollis gonna be the next to fall. D-Blade coming out now, but a big heal from Ariel, and she has more in the tank. She'll be able to keep Ali up here and skig him now with his Dragon Blade expiring. Will he get locked in? Still has easy. And not using it, they find the Genji. He's dropping 10 gems there. Richard Gear, the only one on the map now as a Malfurion, and this could be DKK potentially moving up to the boss, because I think that mid-wave... Okay, it's going to be handled by Blaze. He has to go back, and they're going to get red web weavers instead of boss here. Well, okay, I'm fine with that. a little piece of team fighting. Uh, yeah. Holy Ground, doing a ton of work. It's strong, uh, just a big commitment there from Tyfel with the Sonya on the two-man leap, and then everybody's trading cooldowns out, but the key in that fight is that Sanctification came out before the Rip Tire. All right, Bobo, so wing number five, definitely the spiciest so far. I designed the order to go from, you know, least spicy to spiciest. This one, it's got a little bit of heat to it. My mouth definitely has a little capsaicin running through it currently. Um, not as spicy as these red web weavers dropping down the, the lanes right now. I am, I'm really hoping to see them get some structural damage here to get back in this game. Ralph is in trouble, but he does have a good holy ground to split out any sort of damage from coming at him. Great roost there by Thrall, but Sony's gonna be safe. Here's the rip tire. Gonna connect onto Ralph Stew. Uh, Tearly, the only one that's low here is the earthquake to slow down this advance. That and not they, they still have synced. I don't see it on a cooldown. Um, and they still have the Crystal Aegis if they're gonna pop it too. Mutaru looking to get some hope and uh, can you tell okay the hat is on Goldam, but he's not getting much damage right now skig him on the back line swift striking away to safety and leaping over a wall uh so they do they get two ports down top and bottom and now teams are both level 17 so close uh kills are close xp is close um just got to catch up with the keeps if you're dkk right now running it down bot and off Genji is really close to starting the reset chain. There was a, a window there for DKK where all of their heroics were off the cooldown and Dragon Blade had been used. It's a long, long walk back. I don't all know right, if they holy, can make it out of here. Here's yeah, holy holy like, Ground was great there to keep Sonya back. Range. Yep, and there's the, the dismount. Goldan. There's a four-man leap connecting onto all of them. D-Blade jumping no in. Way. 
big no Aegis way. bunker saving four currently, but they're gonna die. This is this is Genji. He's he's looking for more blood here. There's a trait by Blaze trying to keep himself alive. He, uh, Sanct is down, keeping Thrall alive for a moment, but there he goes. He's falling. Roots are great to lock in Blaze. They're gonna find this Blaze and this Ariel. That is a quad kill. Tyrio, the only one left. It's Ralph Stew holding on to ten gems, but uh, Team Freelo, they're looking to end this. Junkrat using his Ripper Air all around the map. Do they want this bot keep first or are they going to walk past? That's the question. Now they're going for the keep. They want this bot keep as well. Um, I guess they feel like they don't have the siege damage, maybe? They can take it. Uh, yeah. You don't have Wrath from Sonya. Just, just lower travel time. Yeah, yeah okay. They can still 20 seconds left. Um, because they did they did take leap with Sonius. Like they don't really have that strong siege core type hero. Genji's not it. Like Junkrat when he gets the big cannons at level twenty can do it. Um, but he's really not like a huge structural damage type hero. Okay. This is my Apparently. opinion. Yeah, no, Team Free a little great to do. Um, okay. They're in a position where they can do this, grab another web weaver, and go. I think DKK still would be to not just win this team fight. Convincingly, they're gonna have to win like two more to, to be able to win this game. At least, and they need to get gems. Yeah, it's a big, three. big factor is their lack of gems right now. Even if they win a fight, you'll be alright. Kind of path. Like I said, you you need to get you need to win this. Then you need to win another team fight on your uh, in order to come back out of this and get some push going the other way, and then one more to win it. I think they're on a three. Uh, stun coming out from Blaze and uh, quick cleanse. That's a three-man leap. Blaze shield, and this is all the damage they need. Sanctification dropped at the same time as the bunker. A little bit of overlap there, and Ariel's down. Tyrael's likely next to fall. There he goes. Blaze get knocked away by the Junkrat, and Alieska going to have to go back into the Hall of Storms. And ladies and gentlemen, game number one going to your first place team in Division A West, Team Freelo. Did a great job catching the Tyrael and the Blaze with their CC chains. I think if DKK could look back on that game, they may sort of take a look at, at how clumped up they were a few times. They needed yeah. one of their two uh, two warrior heroes to just be maybe out of range of that CC chain, which was engaged at quite quite a long range. So let's take a look at the match summary brought to you by Nexus Gaming Series and that little Diablo picture made by my buddy Skyarch Hots. You see him in chat right now. If you see him there, give him a shout out at Skyarch Hots in my Twitch chat and say thanks for making that sweet picture, man. It's awesome. Uh, but we do have Genji leading away six kills and top hero damage in the game. Skigum is our game one MVP. Team Freelo taking it. Uh, Bobo, anything uh, you want to mention game number one that was outstanding? Um, outside of, I think, Skigum really played well. The leaps from Sonya paired with the Blessed Shield were also on point the entire time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, again, if we uh, had to commend DKK on that first team fight in which they layered their heroics correctly, but there's just so much going on. You've got, like, <clears throat> multiple different types of saving throws that can be made and disengages. Um, it seemed like... New so, all right, detected. I, I, this is sort of anecdotal. I don't know, I remember exactly how the sequences of, of these team fights went. In the first team fight, they played everything perfectly. I think in the second team fight, they threw everything out too fast. And in the third team fight, it took too long. Yep. Something, you know, along those lines, because again, when you have that number of sort of instant, long cooldown, you know, big epic play heroics, they have to be layered perfectly. And that's just a hard thing to do. Yeah, there were some really good fights. Uh, you know, they got nine kills, DKK, um, yeah. playing up against a team of they this caliber. That game. You know, yeah. coming in as the last place team up against the first place team. Like, they did a pretty darn good job there uh, in, in some of those fights. Like, um, you know, Thrall played pretty well. The, the Gul'dan was doing a ton of damage. Like, that's why you draft a Gul'dan. Um, anyway, <clears throat> we're going to take a short break in between rounds here. It should be about three minutes. We're going to get game number two set up. It is going to be Braxis right. Holdout. Oh. So, <laughs> so don't what? go anywhere. Uh, it's going to only get spicier from here, ladies and gentlemen. And you do not want to miss game number two when we start reaching into these super peppers. So we will see you shortly.
All right, ladies and gents, we are back. And this is really the portion of the stream that you've been waiting for. This is where it goes yeah. from mild to, all right, let's yeah. now start messing Murda up a bit. Um, teams are in lobby. Uh, I have one ready so far from Team Freelo. Looks like DKK is ready as well. So Bobo, go ahead and hey. launch this game number Fire two. Fire it up. Praxis make me throw up. All right. <laughs> so I think I think last game I, I kicked off the draft with the first wing of the the night, right? So oh, do it, yeah. So this one is called Purgatory. It's also from the Pucker Butt Company. Uh, I forget exactly what pepper it is. I want to say it's like uh, Jalokia something. I forget what it's called. Some weird name. I can't pronounce it. Uh, but yeah, this is. Uh, Wing number six of ten. Jalokia? Like, like the Jalokia Scorpion cheap. or something? Is that what it's called? Jalokia? It sounds like a cheap Korean car import. <laughs> Jalokia? I mean, the Medivh band, even on Braxis. Team Freelo must have one heck of a Medivh player. Mm. Chat, help us out. Yeah, same two bands as game mm. number one. As the wings are getting spicier, I need to move to a new napkin yep, yeah, for my yeah, fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought a stack of <clears throat> five different napkins here. That one kind of went down the wrong pipe. wasn't really spicy. just kind of got stuck there for a sec. Um, yeah, that, good heat on that. Pretty darn good heat, actually. I'm actually Always. dreading Ooh. the last three in the lineup. Ariel, so this is what happened last night. Team number one had the Ariel. They won game number one. Uh, and then the other team took it. Now, although Ariel lost game number one, we do see the Ariel switching sides. So they're saying, hey, that Ariel, we want to try it too. Let's, let's give it a shot. Um, so one thing I didn't mention is Team Freelo came into this match up two points over the Blasting Burrows in the standings. They've already picked up one point this evening. So at the very worst for them is a draw. A tie in the standings with Blasting Burrows. If they win this match here, they secure the number one seed throughout the Division A West playoffs. So a very big match here for Team Freelo. Junkrat and Decker Kane are picked up. Now we see a Muradin. Playoffs this season, expanding to eight teams per. So a division final, followed by a grand final. Uh, yeah. Should be, should be interesting, man. Just in that... Uh, it, when it, when it was just uh, like last season, when you only had four teams make it, uh, it kind of felt like it, it, it was tough to build a storyline. It kind of felt duty. like teams could just break out their like you know super tight comfort picks and just win right. two series and go to finals. Yeah, I like and the, that, I like the eight. It, well, hopefully it's it's the right number going forward. But I like it. Zarya, uh, you don't see Zarya every day, but you will see her today. Um, with an Ariel, this is actually something I've run a long time ago where the Zarya just gets super tanked up with the shield, starts doing a ton of damage, and then Ariel just gets this like almost infinite um, hope meter from her. So we'll see if they want to go that route, but it's it's pretty hard to pull off, and I don't know. It's they need some sort of damage to go with it. I don't know. The, <laughs> okay, the Cho's ban. I think that's smart to ban away the Cho Gall. Because they definitely could still run it here. They went very high on the Muradin as well. I think, you know, Braxis hold out. Mobility between lanes can get up the top and bottom pretty quick on the rotation. Jumping through the boss pit. The Gull ban. You love to see it. Uh, Cho I, I, I wasn't, I really, to be honest, I wasn't really on board with the Cho ban. But I think the Gull ban is a much wiser play here. It shows <laughs> prescience and sagacity on the side of Team Freo. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what has put them to the top of A West standings right here. This kind of savvy. Whew. Um Alright, so they have their healer. They have their junk rat, their wave clear. Probably Change their Okay, the Hawken now is a solo laner. Makes sense. Um Do you want the tank here and save that last pick to kind of flex it a bit? I, I think I'd love to see them pick up like Garrosh is still available. Um you could go I, with the I new think, Diablo. I think you take the the I think you take the tank here just because you're you can play your flex uh 
You, I, I think you would rather have more options with your flex hero. But I mean, they, they've got both of their... Just coming up here. The Zarya is just going to throw... Kill okay. off Zod. I really like this. Okay. okay. Uh, no, I really, really, really like this. Tell me why. Uh, we will fall anytime you're ready. They're throwing you a wrinkle, and that wrinkle is uh, Jim glorified uh, lane <laughs> minion raider. So, Zarya is just a big mobile target. She okay. provides an easy way for you to stack chains, even if you're not super successful in the early game. You can wind up sort of getting into a rhythm. You'll you'll pick that quest up a lot faster. Zarya herself does not have CC, so it removes uh, threat from. The Keltazad. It's going to take a lot the crusade calls. to kill him with a Muradin diving solo and a Rainer. Mm. Okay. But, uh, I mean, we're getting to skig him, Jimmy! Yeah. Uh, Jimmy. Oh, a little switch. It's going to be Hollis. The NGS oh. moderator, Hollis. Um, playing the Rainer, but they do get a Johan on the other side. The blinds will help uh, push away some of that damage from Rainer. Not all of it, of course, but. Um, I, I'm fine with the Johanna. I think you lose a bit of your wave clear, at least early game with Kel'Thuzad, and who knows? I, I think we're looking at Deckard, um, this hero. If he goes into his stay a while and listen, and then you get Kel'Thuzad combos underneath, that's some dead heroes. Am I mistaken? Like, th that's some dead heroes. Maybe, um, but I would be... <clears throat> I would be paying much more carefully to what they do in the beginning of this game because the uh, junk red is just objectively good. It's nice, solid wave clear, um, but you should be able to generate huge up. sources of damage between Deckard Kane's roots and Kel'Thuzad combos. Okay. And they're going to have to win. I think they have to win pre-10, not just not because their comp is going to like specifically trail off. Uh, but just because I think, you know, when you're going up against the number one team in the division, you want that momentum. You want to start off clean. Bobo, I want to start off clean, but this is going to be very spicy for me. Which, what are we up to? Uh, we're up to wing number... Seven? Seven is next? Yeah, yeah wing yeah, seven good. is next. Yeah, 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 we're about to enter the pain train after this. We're, we're entering the upper echelon, and once we see a first blood here on Brax's holdout, I will be eating the Bravado Spice Company Ghost Pepper and Blueberry Hot Sauce. Um, it's actually oh, really delicious. I love it out. with like my chicken and waffles type, type stuff. Oh, chicken and waffles. Great call. Great call. I think that's going to have to happen this weekend. Thank you, Murda. You're welcome. Uh, and, you know, this Blueberry Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce, it pairs really well with it. Good There's combos combo. coming out from the Kelpies out there. But Schweik does wind up staying... Like, again, you get... What I call the A clicks. Uh, uh, cast an ability, walk forward. Cast an ability, walk forward. You gotta be careful there. Uh, the is coming out damage. from the combo of. And there it is. Oh, but look at the concussion mine! And ladies and gents, that not only was first blood, it was also second blood. So here we go. This is the Bravado Spice Company Ghost Pepper and Blueberry Hot Wing. Oh dear. The beacons are energizing. But yeah, uh, Schweik has been hitting quite a few combos, but again. It's kind of a cheeky term to call them the ace steps, but again, an ability and then a step forward, and then an ability and then a step forward led to that first blood. Mm. What's going on top? This right? one is so good, Bubba. Is it? Mm -hmm. Got a little sweetness to it, a little tang? A little bit of tang, yeah. Oh! oh. Rainer falling. What a great play there. Oh, the death of an American hero, James Rainer. I feel like he needs a middle name too. Does he have a middle name? GD and <laughs> <laughs> they find the Zarya as well. Now three to one for DKK, and it's kind of similar to what we saw in game number one. They were getting a lot of kills early game. We'll see if they can keep it up late game. Uh, oh, pretty good root right. attempt coming out, and they do end up finding Ariel. The zoning was enough to get that kill. The root from uh, Kelpazar this time, keeping the dwarf toss from activating, and Skigum was in big trouble there. He's able to get away, and now they control bottom. The Akka is hovering on top. I think he's got that as well. He does. So DKK channeling first nope. objective. And when this first objective goes off, I will be entering an even spicier sauce. It is Mad Dog 357 Pure Ghost. And it is up next, ladies and gentlemen. Great oh. roots. Great combo. Great kill. Rainer fallen yet again. Take a look at the kill so far. And it is right here. 
Junkrat with three so far. Death's uh, two apiece for Rainer and Zarya. Missed the chain. Tokibori is under big pressure. Kane in the area. There's Iron Skin Puff. Okay. I was waiting for Ralph Stu to use that. Should be able to sort of maneuver his way on out. Well, Dehaka seems to have lost top to Varian and now full control of both beacons for Team Varian Freelo. Hurts. He hurts. He can't. Yeah, especially at level four. Um, what four? talent did he go? Does, does Elias have? Did he go Twin Blades? This is a Twin Blades Varian? Oh my god! It's a Twin Blades Varian! I can't even. I can't even. Oh, you love to see it, dude. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> you hate to see it. <laughs> Ladies and gents, that is objective number one, and this will be Mad Dog 357. Here it goes. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to hold it up to this camera as well. It is fully sauced. I really made sure these last three were, like, uh, legit. And here we go. Ralph's good looking for the kill. I see you, Arch. Chicken and waffles, question mark, question mark. Dude, if you have not had chicken and waffles, you need to get on this wagon chicken and waffles is the future of food do you like chicken yes everyone likes chicken do you like mm -hmm. waffles yes uh -huh. it's like a pancake with a syrup trap so you add two things that you love together with a little bit of white gravy dog chicken and waffles mm. chicken i and put waffles. i put maple syrup on there some you hot can do sauce. that too i mean you gotta get the white gravy though like like just that sort of a standard okay. yeah i mean that's more southern style too You're damn right it is Okay, that one was pretty spicy. Um, the next swing will happen when the first port of the game falls. Uh, so if you see a port go down, whether it's here or very soon, I will be entering the Carolina Reaper. And ladies and gents, it is a Guinness Book of World Record holder pepper. And these two sauces... Wow, that ghost pepper one is actually lighting me up. Great combo there by Kalfazad. Um, but Carolina Reaper is going to be very spicy, and that's where it's going to start getting to be a lot of fun. Whoo, my mouth is on fire. Okay. Just a scrubbillet and says James Eugene Rayner. You mean his middle name wasn't goddamn? <laughs> his name is James Eugene Rayner. Okay. I like it. I like it. Oh, Schweik again. I feel like Schweik is just waiting, waiting for Shadow Fisher to finish what he has started. More chains coming out. He's got to be done. He's at 29. One more stack for Kelpazod, and he's online with his uh, his base quest. Does he get it here? You know he wants it. He's looking for it. He really wants it. Come on. Come on, Schweik. All right. Level 7 still not picked up by Zarya. Um, I like the Junkrat build. This is the build I play. Just queue it. Queue it up. Is there another build? Uh, scribes I mean, scribes like... have long theorized that there may in fact be another Junkrat build, but it has yet. The concussion mine way. build, it's you're right. It's not that good. The, I don't know about it. Maybe build... maybe East maybe Eastern philosophy can teach us something. <laughs> maybe we'll see it. Maybe we'll see it at the midseason brawl. I don't know. Well, maybe we will Blackout see it. Going. Zarya falls yet again, and I think. Oh, that's... Richard Gear. Number three death for Zarya. Skikum playing pretty deep here on the Muradin. He's gonna have a dwarf toss, but he's gonna get rooted here by Deckard Kane as the hiccups are starting a bit. Here we go again. Mm. Um, mm. Still no force the down. The spike. I think he missed the chain on the spike. Bobo, I really, I'm scared. If this fork goes down, I, I have to start eating the spicy stuff, man. No like, nibbles. You take a bite like a real man. I've been, I, I'll show you the the bones at the end of this. I've been clearing them. <laughs> Uh, Beacons number two spawning in five seconds. The first set went over to Team Freelo, and already on top of the Beacons is Varian up top, Muradin down on the bottom, and the channel has started. Concussion oh, Mine gonna knock Varian away, and it is now uh, neutralized there by Dahaka. Will he grab a tongue onto this Varian? Will not be able to. I like the adjustment here by DKK. Just trying to change things up and. A kill on the James bottom. James goddamn Raider goes down. They're trying to snipe out that fort. They want me to eat this Carolina Reaper wing, oh. and they're not going to be able to do it. Blackout the next Watch the spike. Actually be in trouble. Spike there. Root there. Kill there. Yes. Zarya down. That's a triple kill here in the bot lane for DKK as they now start channeling the bottom beacon, and here it goes. I like what DKK is doing here. Put the Dehaka as well as the Junkaratu up top. Uh, bottom side is just big, Ariel there. Gets to the level 10. 
Combo trying to come out from Shriek, not connecting onto Richard. And these beacons are now above 70% as James Eugene Rayner enters with Richard Gear here, and Skigum is here as well. Murden jumping in deep onto this Johanna, ends up stunning, oh, and the Haymaker, oh, the haymaker maker, rather, knocking him back, and I'm starting to see some sort of graphical glitches on my screen. Do you see those two? I mean, that's just how hot that play was. It broke yeah. the engine. I think everyone sees it. Blackout sees it. I see it. There's some sort of graphical error on the screen. This is a new patch today. Um, <clears throat> okay. lagging. Well, pause it. And I think it's just uh, a bug. Oh, no. Maybe. This fort. Save the fort, Ralph! Ralph! No, Save Blackout's the fort! Gonna, Blackout's gonna eat. Come on. Make him eat it. Come on. Okay, okay there's there the go. pause, finally. I, I mean, I, I'm not gonna pause it for him. Someone's right. gotta pause it. We have the power, but we cannot act on it. Okay, so really, this is the last moments you're going to see me before we enter the what I consider for myself personally and my tolerance to be the oh shit, watch yourself, Murda. That stuff is <laughs> spicy. And it's Carolina Reapers, the next two sauces, both made by the Pucker Butt Company here in uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, my home state, I don't live in Rock Hill, but... Uh, not too far away from me, and proud to be a South Carolinian when something like this is in the record books, Bobo. Hey, man. Everywhere's got its thing. I don't even know what this... I don't even know what Connecticut has. At least you guys have something. God, this state's boring. <clears throat> you want to count them in? They, they say we are our. Let's do it. They are our. Play the video yeah. games. A little bit of action going on top here. Oh, yeah, he's got under the pressure. Keep an eye on the playmaker. Ping. Oh, playmaker! That's what's giving us the bug, is the playmaker. Uh, playmaker. And I'm starting to slur words. I'm very nervous. And you gotta keep an eye on that bottom four for me, because the moment it falls is the moment I start eating, and it's down. It's down, Bobo. And here it goes. Kara, Lina, Reaper, Hot Sauce. Ladies and gents, this is the Insano territory. You're still gonna have to call the game, by the way. That's in the contract. Not an insignificant wave on the side of Dunning Kruger Knights, and we have the Hyperion. Jimmy GD and Rainer just getting all up in this business as Team Freelo pushes for to keep. Variant doing fairly well. Okay, and I'm here, Freelo. ready to cast yeah, it. Rip tires out. It. He's about to jump in, but it's destroyed. They get it. <clears throat> Rainer doing enough damage. Think him pretty deep here onto the junk right. He's looking for the kill. The chains are connecting out now, connecting into the Zarya. And here's the ultimate. Gonna do a lot of damage to Murden. Will he fall here? No, the root from the Decker King not able to lock him in. And Ralph Stu, he's in big trouble. He has a bit of a blind there onto a few targets. Crystal he's just coming out. And that is another structure down. It's a keep. And Bobo, I have to eat another wing. Feel the burn, baby. Feel the burn. Does Ralph still get up? He does. Oh, Schweik. The one man defense is on, baby. Okay. Yeah. What do you got there, Chief? Holy shit! <laughs> really spicy. New follower detected. <laughs> oh my god. The Zerg are okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, all ten wings are down. A keep is down in the bottom lane. Oh. Tithel and his twin blades Varian looking to pick up another fort, but here comes Dunning Kruger Knights. The root from Decker Kane locking him in. And Varian has fallen. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm sweating. I think I'm sweating. Moving to boss now, Dunning Kruger Knights. Here they go, led by Johanna. I'm like actually like short of breath though. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the invade! Here's the invade, Skigum and Murder. Murder's gonna call it, there's a lot of things happening. Alright, yeah, here's Hyperion. Riptire gonna connect on Skigum. And down goes uh, Kalthazad. Ralph Stu might be next, looking to. Do damage onto Zarya, boss ripping through. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Woo! My whole face is numb right now, dude. Boss is gonna finish off the Haka. It's gonna be stolen away by Team Freelo. Oh my god. Haymaker, whip into the wall. Cool. Yep, you could be step on that. That was pretty darn sweet. Beacon spawning. They want core. Oh my god. Oh. All right, buddy. Blue team has destroyed the you did top, top forts down. The boss pushing along with Twin Blades Varian. Crossed into the Maw of the Beast. Came out the other side. And Dunning Kruger Knights making their last attempt. The 16s are online for Team Freelo. Big damage on to Mert, and he's going to fall. Ariel could be next as that uh, concussion mine did a, a bit to her, knocking her far back. Slows from Decker Kane. Not going to find any follow up damage. We're looking for follow up damage on Hollis and Rainer. And yes, siree. Rainer is down as Twin Blades Varian pushing top lane <laughs> with the boss. Fighting second keep of the game. Whip into the wall. Oh. Junkrat falling low. Beacons are active, but not currently being channeled by either team. <clears throat> the Haka rush stalking to the top. Boss now on core trying to get through these shields as Johanna and Kel'Thuzad are here trying to kill it. Beacon on the bottom picked up by Zarya. Dahaka looking to pick up the top. <sighs> um, boss still alive. And here comes the damage. Twin Blaze Varian on top of Dahaka. No escape available. Ali Alieska will fall as both beacons are now channeled by Team Freelo. And I think, Bobo, this could be it. Uh, they have both beacons. There is a Dahaka down right now. They have the 16 talent to your advantage. No, 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 no. You're, you're doing great. You got this. Keep going, buddy. Um, okay. Uh, big uh, <laughs> connection there by Kel'Thuzad. Not going to do enough damage to Zarya. She shielded and had the Aegis there from Ariel. Shriek might be next to fall. He is. And Johanna without Iron Skin will fall as well. Beacon's fully channeled. Now they're looking at Decker Kane. Hotaru could be falling as, yes, Hotaru does fall and only now in defense is Junkrat. Here's the Haka though. Zerg wave coming as Junkrat is next to fall. Varian finding the last kill. And let's look at it. Twin plays Varian, seven of the kills. Make it a mega kill and team Freelo are your number one seed going through the Division the A Bowl. West playoffs. They won the Pepper Bowl! Oh. We did it, Bobo. Uh, there were a few moments in there where like, I really didn't think I was gonna make it. No, I know, that's why my, I made you keep uh, casting, actually. My whole face is numb. I'm very <laughs> short of breath. You know what I've been enjoying this whole cast, yeah. actually? Ben and Jerry cinnamon buns ice cream. Oh my God, ice Salty cream sounds so sweet. good. Yeah. It oh, sounds so good. What a treat this has been. Oh, what sounds so good. Let's take a look at the match summary brought to you once again by Nexus Gaming Series. My whole face is like puckered up right now. <laughs> uh, MVP, uh, Tithle. Tithle? Tithle. We're saying Tithle. Varian, Tithle? Face Blade. So much fun uh, getting to see Twin Blades uh, up against the Dahaka. Just so much fun. Great job. Seven kills, one death. Top Siege? Top Siege by 40k? Holy shrinkies. Uh, let's yep. take a look at, look at these talents really quick as I set up an interview. I'm going to try to get someone from Team Freelo in here. See if I... <coughs> Woo! Don't breathe in like that, Murda. Every, that every, everybody wants to know what was the Rainer build. Let's go over the Rainer build. <sighs> New meta boys. Um, Laner. Look at that. Revolution Overdrive at level 7. A bold move, Cotton. And it indeed paid off. Whew. Okay, uh, Bobo, I'm going to head over to an NGS lobby. Uh, meet you there. All right, Cap. <sighs> okay, so I see in chat. Breathe, breathe. The Stay Hydrated bot just came in and said, you've been live just over one hour. By this point in your broadcast, you should have consumed four ounces of water to maintain optimum hydration. I haven't had any water. At I least mean, not. Water, what is water in the sauce? <sighs> A little bit. Hollis, 
Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, what? Oh my God. Uh, let me let me switch to the cams really quick. Great set. This boy's Team Freelo, first place, Division A West, and that's really the topic of discussion. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great. I'm sure you feel great. <laughs> Not so sure I'm feeling great. Bobo, you feel okay? No, no, no I'm doing great. Hollis, uh, talk to us about the season, man. Um, you know, I mean, this is like the first first season in which we've increased the number of teams. Um, a lot more action going on. New division. Like, some, some teams are familiar, some teams new. Yeah, I mean, it's been fun. Uh, we've been around since, like, Cheer League Season 1 under a bunch of different names. Uh, right this is our by far our most successful season uh and we really like it at ngs so, yeah, it's been really great i mean you guys totally are in that championship belt this season well we gotta win the playoffs but yeah well it's good so far hey you um get the, you get the number one seed oh more bits coming through ragnarok thank you for the bits um but, you, but go uh, ahead with your question yeah it's a, you're dying uh do you know who you guys are are playing in the first week of the playoffs, has that been like settled up yet, or does not it, yes, yet? It could be archetype. It could be a couple other teams. I expect it to be archetype, but I'm yes. not sure yet. All right, right on. Uh, and then, you know, having been through the gauntlet, played everybody once. Who do you look at as uh, top contenders in Division A West, other than obviously yourself? Uh Burrows. Uh, Burrows, us, Trump. I would say. Okay, keep it simple. Go with the top three. There's nobody, no sleeper teams. Come on, no, nothing interesting. Something for us to keep an eye out on in the playoffs. Yeah, I would look at Dank Team. Uh, Dank Team, they yeah. surge. Yeah, they added like a player that. and started yeah. surging. So yeah, look at them. I expect them Ins to upset maybe. Insider info from Hollis. Um, so taking a peek at the current scoreboard, looks like Stepdads is likely locked into that number. Oh, excuse me, Archetype. Oof, Archetype. You guys played them week one, I think, right? Yeah, so it was a long time ago. Long time ago. Or Dank Team. I don't know who's going to take the spot. Yeah, I think it is going to be Archetype. I'm not sure, though. All yeah, right on, man. Well, there's still a little bit more left in the week to go. Yeah, there's also an outside chance it could be Adults with Jobs, I think. I can't remember. Yep. Wow. Um, could be Stepdads, too, if they win, Archetype loses. I would, I would, I would keep an eye out because uh, each division has their own sort of division nerd, and if there's one thing uh, that the division nerds are going to be fantastic at, is coming up with an insane article based on all of the probabilities and chances that teams will finish in what seed and what they have to do to do it. Yeah, um, yeah. Or, Ghost, Ghost has been oh, doing those. He he Ghost came up so with a crazy with like a crazy situation where there would be so a three way good. tie, and the first game that happened like broke that, so that sucks. <laughs> But it's all about the effort, and God, we're yeah, yeah. for it. Okay, last question. At least for me. But if you have more, go for it. Twin, Blades, Varian, go. Uh, I mean, we were just redefining the meta, right? That was our secret strat. Completely serious comp. Um, had nothing to do with the fact that we had just locked up first place. I mean, I, uh, I'm for, I'm first banning Rainer against you guys every single game. I mean, if you're oh, one yeah. know, if you're one to know with something, you've got to take it away, and that may just be Jimmy, GD, and yeah. Rainer. Yeah, ban Rainer, ban Varian, second ban. If you're not doing that against us, you're not paying attention, right? Jeez, jeez. I actually do. I, all right, hold on. I have a serious question because we talked about it a little bit during the cast. Uh, what is up with Ariel? Ariel. Uh, Ariel is Ariel is a good combo. Okay, but do you that's, think that's it? Like we've seen some Ariel in like different NGS, uh, different NGS casts, and it's actually been decently effective. Like, do you think there's yeah. a play? There's going to be a place for her in the playoffs where comfort picks tend to come out a little bit more than meta sometimes yeah i think um mouth is the best healer by about a half of a tier okay. and then almost everyone else is super situational so that's why you're seeing more ariel you're seeing more alex straza mm -hmm. i don't think they're necessarily worse than sukov i i think everyone is situational besides mouth and mouth is not even like the best pick always it's just he's good in everything he's not great in everything Mm. Um, that's why he's a half step above. But yeah, you'll see Ariel in the playoffs, and you'll see Ariel in the midseason brawl um, in pro play, I bet. Right on. Thank you, Alice. Much appreciated. Murder, that does it for me. Brother, what do you get? So, my mouth, for you guys in Twitch chat, is still numb. I can't feel my teeth right now, my tongue. Or, <laughs> like, I really, like, my whole mouth, it's like Novocaine, right? I can't, I feel like I'm talking, like, 
Like, I, I, words don't sound like they're coming out of my mouth properly. We gotta pick up another set. Come on, man. Um, before we go, Hollis, the floor is yours. Shout outs, please, my friend. Uh, I do shout outs every week. Um, shout outs to Ember, the blue team, Snags. Uh, shout out to McNulty, 2 plus 2. Uh, shout out to Random, uh, Average Joes, our scrim partners, although they canceled on us tonight, so they're dicks. Uh, Shots fired! Shots shout fired! Out, shout out to my own team, shout out to uh, Andy, uh, Pie Maker, who really set us off this season as our sub, like being that six man that we didn't have, yeah. like tripled our practice, and we started getting really good after that. Pie Maker MVP? Yep. Yeah, he's definitely the MVP of the team. So that's it for tonight. I want to give a shout out to Hollis for joining us for this interview. Thank you so much. Big shout out to Team Freelo for winning. Dunning Kruger Knights for a solid attempt tonight. Picked up a lot of kills. Um, kept it interesting. Um, Bobo and uh, Harry Carey for the brief uh, bit at the beginning. <laughs> Thank you. You threw me off so hard. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Murray. Hey, Murray. Your Cubs win. Cubs win. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Once again, for joining on the cast. And uh, final shout out, you guys in Twitch chat, uh, we peaked at like 36 viewers, I think. You guys are Pretty awesome. Night, Thanks for watching me torture myself. Um, <laughs> I hope well, you had fun. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the a, replay cast. We're going to break I'm it down. A, I'm in a lot of pain. I, my mouth is still <laughs> numb, dude. I, I can't feel anything in my mouth right now. So that's all we have for you. Thank you so much for stopping in. Um, no problem. Thank you for all those sauces you see on my stream that way. Uh, thank you to Skyarch Hots for making this Diablo cartoon here to my left with the hot wings and the peppers. Uh, thank you to Ragnarok, um, Gravesville, and Professor Bobo for dropping bits. We are at 87.15% of completing that goal for the Regen Invitational. We'd love to see it fully funded. Was hoping we get more tonight, but hey, uh, it is what it is. You guys rock. Um, that's all we have. And until next time, which will be during the playoffs, I'm Berta signing off, joined by Hollis and Professor Bobo. Have a wonderful evening. Hope your mouth is not as spicy as mine. <laughs>